What's going on everybody? C4 here today doing kind of response video again. I don't like doing these because I don't like, you know, people saying, oh, this is his upload today. Is him just asking us a question and looking for feedback. He's done this three times already, but it is work. It is proven work. Uh, we have pink slips, which I, I brought the idea. You guys thought it was pretty cool. I mean, it hasn't really taken off as much as I thought it was going to, but it's still really fun to do and I enjoy it. And anything that helps me enjoy this game in the dying breast of the Madden 17 era, uh, I'm going to continue to do it. Look for a different format, if you will. I don't know exactly what the number or what the upload is going to be. But as it stands right now, I'm going to be doing a lot more pink slips for my live streams. I'm going to try. I'm going to say, as it stands right now, maybe one scheduled pink slips up, upload a week. And then at one point in the week, we'll do a live stream that will be a pink slip. So that way there, we have two different ways to interact on that series. I also got great feedback on doing an NCAA Dynasty, where I get you guys to vote between Florida and North Dakota State. And we've been seeing the last you know week or so, North Dakota State uploads. You guys have been giving me great feedback on that. I'm having really good fun, you know, dusting off the old Xbox 360 and playing NCAA 14. But playing NCAA 14 got me thinking towards Madden 18 season. A lot of YouTubers right now, if you haven't, if you're new and you're watching this, Already, you got to start planning for Madden 18, deciding what you're going to do, how you're going to open the season, because it is a boom or bust period for that, really that first month of Madden to really catch on and bring in viewers. I already know. I'm going to be starting hard with the realistic rebuilds. I took feedback from, you know, over, I think we're at 1.2 million total views from the realistic rebuilds in Madden 17. And between the trolls and the nut huggers of my channel, uh, in between was constructive criticism. So I will have a little bit different approach to the realistic rebuilds, but they will be returning and they're probably going to be uh, the big daddy on the channel. I look forward to doing that. And then I've seen a couple other big YouTubers doing like franchise reveals. They go on their channel and they say, hey guys, I'm getting you guys to vote. I'm going to reveal what franchise I'm going to play with on Madden 18. It's going to be so hype. What team am I going to be? I'm being the Eagles. Fuck that. Fuck all that bullshit about people trying to be like that. When I see people do that shit, I, 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 I'm, I'm filling in the blanks myself. I don't know the exact reason. I just see that as a vanilla. You want to try to be an impartial team so you don't upset people. I'm being the Eagles every goddamn year. If you're sick and tired of seeing the Eagles, you know, once I get bored, once that gets played out, then I do something like I did this year with the Toronto Huskies, and you can see that later on. But as it stands right now, Philadelphia Eagles are going to be my team. They've been my team for the last seven, six Six, seven years I've been on YouTube, and it's not going to change. But what I want to do is try to make a little world, if you will, to encompass the college and the pros. So that's what I think is one of the key features that makes my Connected Franchise Mode stand out, is, you know, as you might see... When's this getting uploaded? Actually, this, is, this should be uploaded. So on Friday's up upload, which was the Toronto Huskies... We did the draft for the 2018 draft. We're doing guys that are freshmen right now. They're coming out of college. Real prospects. Isaac Nata, the great tight end from Georgia. Jacob Eason, the quarterback from Georgia. Just to name a few. No one else is really going that far in depth, I don't think. So looking at Madden 18, I'm going to do that again. But what can I do to make it a little bit different? Now that I know that I can capture some NCAA gameplay, I posed a question on Twitter that got overwhelming response. People said, yes, that was going to be dope. Is I'm going to have an NCAA 14 series... And not really much a series, more so prospect series, I guess. I, mean, I don't want to say it's still a series because it's, it's, it's hard to assume. But here's essentially what it's going to be. Let's say in any given week, these, these aren't actual numbers. I upload two Philadelphia Eagle Connected Franchise Mode videos for Madden 18. In between those two videos, there will be an NCAA video that will be showcasing and highlighting and recapping all of the rookies that you're going to see in the coming offseason. So, you know, let's just say Saquon Barkley, the, the running back from Penn State, the biggest name on the market. Just for chits and giggles, say I was doing Penn State in my dynasty. I have to figure out how I'm going to control the dynasty. That's something I need feedback on. But then let's just say Eagles need a running back and Saquon Barkley is the guy. You're going to be able to see every single week catching up for every week of that year in the college football season, seeing how Saquon Barkley's doing. Is he winning the Heisman? Who's actually going to win the Heisman? Because I don't really pay attention to the in-game created Madden stories lines anyways, those little, you know, snooze things where you talk about, like, you know, DeVry Hunter from fucking North South Community College look really good in the East-West Shrine. I don't look at that bullshit. I'm going to create my own stuff. So you're going to see the storyline from NCAA, and then we'll be able to import that into our franchise. So... You know, we got a little bit stunted this year with the Eagles Connected Franchise Mode, but why I think this would be cool is as we get farther along in the Philadelphia Eagles Connected Franchise Mode, there's going to be guys that are custom rookies. There's going to be guys, let's just say, you know, come year seven, where I've run out of realistic prospects to use, we got, you know, Timmy Turner at quarterback, and then we get to follow his path 
through NCAA, which builds the anticipation for when he actually gets drafted in my Madden 18 connected franchise mode. So it seems like a lot of people thought that were cool. The only downside for that is I'm going to need to backload it. There is no way in hell that I'm going to be unhooking my Xbox to plug in my 360 while Madden's still a new fresh game and I got fucking thousands of videos that I need to be recording that I'm going to be able to do that and even want to do that, right? So I'm going to have to backload some of these NCAA, especially for the first couple seasons where we already know what big time prospects. I mean, year one, you're going to get, you know, Saquon Barkley, Darius Geis, Josh Rosen, Lamar Jackson, just to name a few. Year two, you're going to start getting maybe, um, you know, Rashawn Gary. I mean, you know, I'm going on too far but big time prospects everyone knows for the first three years so i can actually backload those have those ready to already upload it you know a month i can have those all done in july ready to go for late august early september but to do that i'm gonna have to end the north dakota state bison dynasty for multiple reasons one i'm not gonna have enough time two the bison rosters aren't the updated rosters that i'm gonna need to use the updated rosters Currently, I already even finished. I go on OperationSports.com, and they have, you know, they're pretty much done, but they're not done, and I'm a fucking perfectionist. So what Big Dick C4 is going to do, I'm going to go into those rosters, and I'm going to finish them myself. I'm sick and tired of seeing these unfinished NCAA rosters. So I'm going to finish those rosters, but because I have to use the updated rosters, and I need more time, I'm going to have to end the North Dakota State Bison Connected Franchise Mode, or Dynasty, or whatever the fuck it's called. So essentially what I'm going to do, because I don't want to leave no loose ends, I'm going to do the Dyson. Uh, the Dyson, the Bison Dynasty for one year. We're going to see what happens. But what I'm going to do, because UAB is the team I replaced to use the Bison in my Dynasty mode, to keep the Bison around to see some, you know, some of those guys, King Frazier and the other dudes, we're going to still import the Bison and act, have them act as an NCAA team in replace of UAB. That's, you know, that's the kind of middle ground that I'm going to be able to make just because we're not going to go super in-depth with that Bison franchise. So that being said... Two things, the two questions. One is we already got feedback on Twitter, but if this is an idea you guys think is pretty goddamn cool. It's something that I've wanted to do ever since they took the feature out of importing draft classes in Madden 14. Uh, let me know if you want to see me do this. And two is, I mean, this is maybe you know input as well as people that know. Because, I mean, some people out there, I even asked for scouting in some of my Bison views. Some of you guys, you know, play this game a lot and you know a lot more about it than me, or at least you're a lot more up to date. How should I control the NCAA I don't know what the, what the proper way is going to be to, say, to describe this. Let's say the NCAA series. How should I control it? Should I pick a team and then play with them throughout that season while monitoring all the stats of all the big-time players? Or is there like a way I can kind of like GM it and overwatch every single team and just, you know, pick and choose? Like one week I could be I could control Florida and play the Florida-Georgia game. The next week I can just control, you know, all, multiples of teams and just chime in for the big time matchups if that's an actual feature a way i can do that in ncaa for sure let me know but you know obviously the formatting of this series is something i'm looking to get great input from you guys from so i'm not going to hold you up for too much longer but just you know for this whole concept of having ncaa 14 series run along with my madden 18 connected franchise mode any and all feedback on this idea would be awesome to get from you guys and that's it so later on today I assume you're going to see a Pink Slips episode. Who are we going to get from the Buffalo Bills? Oh, might be a big old fat guy. I don't want to spoil it. Maybe even live stream it tonight. I don't know yet. I don't know what's going on. I haven't recorded it yet. So there may be a live stream. May not be. Follow me on Twitter at BeastMode underscore TV for all updates on live streams. But yes, most importantly, guys, give me your feedback. And until next time, C4 saying peace out.